No, 100%. I mean, this guy's striking is that of a grandma. Quite literally, if I put a grandma in against Jorge Masvidal, she would have lasted longer than this guy. Um, you know, he's a good athlete, they say, but April 17th, he's going to get exposed. You know, we saw Steve Cunningham earlier going up against Frank Mir, and it's a boxer versus an MMA guy. I love Frank Mir, but at the end of the day, Steve's going <laughs> Steve's to gonna take care of business. And then later on in the night, same thing is going to happen. This is boxing versus MMA, and you're going to see the difference. You're going to see the difference of a, a wannabe fighter, you know, a guy who choked in the Olympics, a guy who choked in the UFC, and now a guy who's going to choke against Jake Paul. I'm going to end this guy's career as an embarrassment. Masvidal did it once, I'm about to do it again. All right, so all of that having been said, Ben, you, uh, you indicate that the difference is not about the skill, it's about the toughness. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I'd heard of Jake Paul prior to accepting this fight, but I couldn't have told you a lot about him or his brother. I knew, um, you know, he kind of came up in his brother's shadow. He was trying to fill his brother's footsteps. You know, his brother is a lot more talented, has a larger following. Those, those type of things. You, you, literally, you literally went on your Instagram and asked people on, for, for roasts. You asked people for roasts on yeah, your Instagram. And, and that was the top comment was say that his brother is better than him. Is he? You, that's like, that's like com calling Kylie Jenner Kendall Jenner. Like, I don't know anything about them. Yeah, anyway, it's, it's so. Like, does, does, doesn't matter. Still, still a compliment. <laughs> okay. I, I would love to be Logan. L Logan's a great kid. Both stars. Both taking over the world at a young age. Okay, so when Logan's little brother called me out, um, you know, I thought about it. Like, you, actually, you actually called me out. Let's get the facts straight. You called me out the week of the Nate Robinson fight. So continue. Yeah. Okay, so when Logan's little brother called me out the week of the Nate Robinson fight, uh, I said, sure, more than happy to, right? I like to fight him and fighting for a long time. Never boxing, but I've done wrestling, mixed martial arts, jujitsu. And, you know, I, th I thought, well, from his angle, what's he doing? And you know, I asked some of my kids at my academy, you know, what's this guy all about? And they said, he's a bully, he's a dick. And so I think from his angle, it's like, who, he's thinking, who's the easiest guy that I can pick that'll give some validity to my name? It's like, hmm, I'm gonna pick the guy who just had a surgery, who's retired, sitting on the couch. If I wanted to pick the, the easiest guy, I would've picked Dylan Dennis. Well, we know, Dylan, Dylan was Dennis said no, we know. The contract. I agree. You actually had the balls to sign the contract. So if I wanted the easiest guy, I would've picked Dylan. Jake, you did pick Dylan. We know that. I, I've already went over that. You picked Dylan. I know he wouldn't do it. But you just said I picked you. Because Dylan wouldn't say yes, dum dum. You I tried to explain words, this Bubba? to you. You, you choke, picked you Dylan. You on your words, Bubba? You picked Dylan. Dylan wouldn't sign the contract. Therefore, you can't fight Dylan, so you have to pick the next person. Okay? But now, you let said me, I let picked me you first. You said if I, want, if I wanted the easiest person, it would have been Dylan. But you're saying I picked you as because the easiest person. Because Dylan, Dylan wouldn't sign the contract. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to wait for you to stop talking. Okay. So, anyways, like this is typical boy behavior, but obviously sometimes the this is the boy fucking fight the wrong game. Person. This is the fucking fight game. You you pussy ass bitch. This is the fucking fight game. Yeah, I'll bully you around just like I'm gonna bully you in the ring. Shut the fuck up. You sound like a middle schooler. Oh, he's bullying me. Shut the fuck up. Now, I, I was talking to your mentality. You're not gonna bully me. That's gonna. Ha that's not gonna happen. And you know, like Jake, if you and I ran into each other. In the back alley in Las Vegas, and I wanted to do, do right a homicide. Do it right now, then. We're running into each other right now. Come on. Someone's gonna stop you. you got like 27 oh. people. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Big so, pain. anyways, I would do a homicide on you if I wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, All yeah, right. yeah. Well, there you are. I guess that sets the table pretty well. If you get through Jake Paul, what's next in your boxing career? Do you go for the Big Brother Logan Paul? Yeah. I, I mean, 2021 seems like a tremendous year to beat up the whole Paul family. All right. Good seeing you, Schmo. Let's, uh, let's go to another question from uh, the press. Good. That was your first good joke of the press conference. I know you're really, you're really excited about that one. Do you smoke cigarettes or are your teeth just yellow? I'll, uh, I'll write your material if you want me to. Do, English, please? If you want me to write your jokes, I can do them for you. If, you're not if I want you it. to read my jokes. This guy's talking about my intelligence. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, it, I was wondering, your, your cheerleaders that you brought to uh, my room... Like, do you pay them as coaches or groupies, or do you just give them like sloppy seconds and social media shout outs? Yeah, I give them t a ton of uh, dry over the pants hand jobs. Hmm. Maybe, maybe say your joke again and we can all remember to laugh. 
Say it one more time. We can just all laugh afterwards, just so you feel good about yourself. Say it one more time for us. No? <laughs> Do you have another question? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the cock on this guy. <laughs> you know, I could see myself coaching my son one day. Someone's going to let you have kids? That was good. You got, you got, you got like two, two laughs. Two laughs. Thank you. Look at your dad. Look at I've got two questions. First one is for Jake. Jake, uh, celebrity boxing isn't anything new, but it's certainly enjoying a moment. Hey, it's what your do you dad think it is about in. your stuff that's made it successful? It's, it's your dad calling in. Look. Is he still alive? He's still alive, bro. I'm about to take him out. Hey, he's still alive. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to finish him off. Yeah, don't worry. Tell him I like them flip flops, man. <laughs> he said he likes your flip flops. That's my guy, Masvidal, maker of Ben Askren. Jake Paul will be the finisher of Ben Askren. Does that bother you, by the way, that you got knocked out in five seconds? Nah, it, it happens. It doesn't bother you? Not really. It doesn't really happen, by the way. That's only happened once. You got a record. You you literally have the record. Yeah. I literally have the record. Yeah, you yeah. hold the record. The record. Yeah. Five seconds. Yeah. This isn't. It doesn't like. Haunt you at all that like you're probably the most me, embarrassing Jake. fighter in UFC history, Jake? I know you have low self-esteem, but you yep. don't need to project it onto me. Does it, this so this clip doesn't bother you? I've only seen it like a million times. <laughs> doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother you? No. Are you sure? Sure. I'm doing the same thing to you. Yeah, uh, I don't think you're allowed to throw knees in boxing, Jake. Well, they might knock you out. It's the same thing. Uh, okay. Good luck. People like to write articles about it, and, but like I'm the only one that's doing it, so it doesn't, doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, but really, at the end of the day, this isn't celebrity boxing. I am a celebrity who is boxing, yes, but I'm, I'm, a, real, I'm a real fighter. I've shown that. I'm 3-0, and 3 KOs, 2-0 and as a professional with 2 KOs. Uh, but I'm the only celebrity or influencer that's fought in like the past two years, so I'm really the only one doing it. So, my next question is for Logan. Ben. Logan doesn't count, or what? Uh, he, he hasn't fought in two years. If you paid attention oh, so closely to what I was saying, and, and look, he, Logan's great. He's a celebrity. He's boxing, but at the end of the day, again, Logan is a real fighter who who would whoop on a lot of a lot of guys. Who's better, you or him in boxing? Me, hands down. That's why I'm three and zero, three KOs. He's zero one and one. Yeah. He ever whoop your ass when you were the little brother? That was a question, Jake. You're supposed to respond. I, I, don't, I just don't care about your questions. Okay. So I'll take that as he rubbed your face in the carpet on a weekly basis. Yeah, sure, Ben. Ha, 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 ha. All right, on that, on that note, we'll go for one more virtual, another virtual question. Yeah, my final question was just for Ben. Uh, ben, you've been in big fights before, UFC pay-per-views, won championships. How has the reception been for you for this fight? Because I'm assuming you're getting messages from a whole other fan base. What has it been like? Um, yeah, it's interesting. Like, like I said earlier, I didn't really, I knew of Jake and Logan when I took the fight, but I didn't know like a whole lot about uh, Logan or his little brother. And, um, you know, one of the things that I, I can't believe is in MMA, I was kind of the heel. I was kind of not liked that much. But, um, you know, Jake said in, in the pre-fight thing that it was 50 people wanted to win, 50 people wanted to lose. And I, I was shocked because it's got to be like 90-10. It's pretty amazing how many people don't like you. I, I, I actually kind of find it pretty impressive, your ability to be disliked. That was a compliment. Yeah, I hope you do some more cheers on the way there. Well, we know we know it's going to be serious on April uh, 17th. Joe Bayside! We, we appreciate both of you being Two, here. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Ben. Ben. <laughs> ben. God damn. There you go. Thank you both for being here. We're looking forward to April 17th. Should be a lot of fun.